We're at Birkbeck University in London asking students about gender. How many genders are there? Oh God, you're asking the wrong person. Yeah, psycho Two. A psychologist? Two. Two genders. Kill the interview. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's perfect. So how many genders are there? Um, I would say there's pretty much a... It's hard to put a number on how many genders there are. I think it's... There more, more than two? Yeah, more for than sure. Two. Um, but you couldn't say how many? No, I wouldn't put a number on it, no. Did you know in the UK at the moment it's a crime to misgender someone under hate crime laws? Yeah, I know that. How do you feel about that? Um, well, I think that gender being a fundamental part of one's identity um, and their very sense of being. I think that to misgender someone or to suggest that a very aspect of their being is unjustified is, yeah, is, is hateful in exactly the same sense as we would typically understand hating someone for their race as being, as being hateful. And I think that... Um, yeah, I mean, gender is an immutable part of someone's, someone's being, and to suggest otherwise is, um, is, yeah, it's combative. Is biological sex immutable? Um, the biological sex, as one was born, to an extent, yeah, is immutable. It, it must be, right? distinct from gender. I would sure, say, yeah. but, but I, so I was going to say, do you see gender and sex as two different things? Uh, to be honest, I wouldn't get, I'm not well-read enough to give a solid answer on that um, but I was um, in some ways they're distinct yeah sure with a, with regard to the practical application in society about where we go with this because the trans lobby seems to be very very potent in the UK at the moment and indeed in sort of certain parts of the West um, if it, where does a trans woman go as far as you're concerned if given a custodial sentence so a biological male a trans woman do they go into a male or female prison um, I would say that um, I don't really feel comfortable in answering that. I would say potentially that they should go into the prison whereby which, with which they identify. Okay. Do you need yeah, to see but, any negative consequences of that? Yeah, but I mean, I guess I see what you're angling for. I, I think that like there are these inflection, there are these cases where, I mean, it's a similar kind of argument that people give as to why um, trans people shouldn't be allowed to use... The, the bathrooms which they identify with. So I think you've with. got safe, you've got bathroom, sport and jail. I think those are the three areas that... that, that yeah, sport is slightly, diff is slightly different, I would say. I think the argument um, for and against um, jail and bathrooms is one of safety, mm. right? But I think these cases are very much overblown. I think they're like the actual danger of these very, very rare instances whereby a trans person or someone identifying as trans might try and leverage that to be abusive is so so rare mm. that the net the net problems with doing that are so minute compared to the net benefits of allowing people who identify with a certain gender to be able to access and participate in the in the kind of um, Hi, we're at Birkbeck uh, University in London and we're asking students how many genders there are. How many genders are there? How many genders there are? Uh, I don't think I have enough information to answer that question, personally, yeah. Does that mean that you think there's more than two? <laughs> I don't think it genuinely means anything. It just means that I need to uh, learn more about it before giving an answer to understand different perspectives on the topic. Do you, what about your own personal opinion? I understand what you mean about research, but what about your own personal opinion? Like if I said, is, is the sky blue today? Would you say that it's blue? Uh, it is blue, by the way. Well, at the moment it is, yeah. At the it's moment blue. it's blue. Yeah, well, yeah, the sky is blue, but I don't think it has much to do with my opinion on genders. But your personal opinion then, just your opinion. I, I'm being honest when I say that. When I don't have enough research, uh, I'm not able to provide like an actual answer and like make up my own opinion. So for now, I would say I don't have any. So there's more than two? I don't like the way you're using my words against me. It, okay, I'm, all right, so your, your, your answer to me suggests that there would be more than two. See, to me, there's two. To somebody else, there's two. But a lot of people think there are more than two and that it's not binary. That's what I mean about your opinion. Right, yeah. 
Well, my stance is still the same on it. How many genders are there? Mm, like, I don't know specifically, but more than two. <laughs> Do you know how many there are? I mean, que uh, like fluid, male, female, and then what? I don't know if transsexuals is valid as a gender by itself, or be, it's fluid. I don't know, yeah. Man, more than two. I, I cannot classify them specifically. Though. Sure. Um, over 18, consenting adults, no problem. Should this, should the theory, or what we're speaking about here, right, should that be pushed on children? Should that be no, anywhere no, near no, children? No, 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 no. The, the main point is allowing everybody to choose for himself. It's not about converting or convincing people, especially when it comes to kids and growing up. The, the process of growing up and actually embracing our own identity, singular one, is to be free as much. Sure. So there, is, there, there shouldn't be any influence, not even any implying mm. like this is the right way to do it in the scholarly process, of course so not. So the LGBT, LGBT lobby, which is quite powerful now in the West, you say it's geographical in the UK, in the West it's quite large, that shouldn't be near under 18 year olds, is that what you're saying? No, over, everybody, over 18 is different. everybody should be exposed to both narratives and they should have the, the power and the intellectual capacity to make up their own opinion. Does a three year old have its... Uh, no, does, no, does it, of course. That's what about not. a six year old? Not even. I'd so, say maybe during adolescence we can actually start to think and speak about those things, but it's still something that would be iterative, if you know what I mean. I mean, it's not even about 18 years old or before or after. It's an iterative process. Somebody would achieve proper... I mean, somebody would embrace their own identity in the 30s, somebody in the 40s. It's everybody should be allowed to have his own time even. But, but So I hear what you're saying, but I have to just, just pick up on that. There seems to be a bit of contradiction there. There must be an age legally where children are or aren't are exposed to what is called radical gender theory by yeah. a lot of people. I mean, I would say that any radicalism, when it comes even to nuclear, I mean, let's say right-wing radicalism or left-wing radicalism, progressives or conservatives, shouldn't be exposed, shouldn't be allowed to be exposed to any children at all. Mm. They just have to deal with mere facts and the, the teachers should empower children to have their own critical thinking rather than just letting them follow whatever the teacher or the person in authority position would be saying. At the moment in the UK we have hate speech laws and if you misgender someone that, that goes down to hate crime. There are a few examples where people have been slapped quite hard in court. Do you believe in hate speech laws and do you think that if you misgender someone that you should face the full extent of the law and that should be illegal? I mean, I'd say not regarding to gender, but whatever hate speech should be faced with law when it comes especially gender, culture, religion, whatever. I mean, the, the goal of democracy is to allow everybody to express themselves without no harm. But if you are actually using the power of social media, of speech, or even the authoritative position that somebody could have because he is a journalist or whatever, to foster hate narratives is always wrong. Because those narratives can always be instrumentalized, they can always de-escalate when it comes to context and settings that are not really empowered with culture. But specifically on misgendering, that is a crime at the moment in the yeah. UK. Do you think it should be a crime if you misgender someone? No, misgendering, I mean, it, it depends. If the person that I am misgendered never stated in the first place uh, her, his, their gender, I mean, how can I know whichever is your gender? So it, it's always a... But that's the thing, that's, that's my point, and that's why I want to play devil's advocate with you. That, that's exactly my point, because they can identify however they want. Based on what you say about essentially live and let live, that's fine, but the issue with gender, which we've never had before, there's been stuff enshrined in UK law for a long time. If you if you use the N word, for example, and that goes to court, you're going to get in serious trouble. Yeah, it's just yeah, been yeah. that way for a long time, but with gender, it's complicated. Yeah, it is. So that's what I mean about misgendering. If I ID a certain way and you misgender me, that's a hate crime. Do you agree with that? No, it's a bit too radical because we cannot assume the intentions of whomever. You, we always need to be clear about whatever. So if, I'm, if I recognize, for instance, my pronouns would be her, she, her, my pronouns are he, him, but if, if I decide that my pronouns are she, her, I should, be, I should state it there in the first place yeah. because we are still in a framework in which those kind of things should be stated in the first place rather than became victimistic because somebody mis mistaken that even though I didn't it certainly it. it certainly looks too radical and the, and the negative consequences yeah, yeah, it produces yeah. is that victimhood which you can then turn to legally as well